Alright, so today we have a Newton second law problem, but it is two dimensional. But let's not panic. So, looking at the diagram here, you have a net, a left direction, a up direction, then you have this force that is both up and to the right. So this is our two-dimensional force that we'll have to break into our components. So to find the net force, we, we define the components, the horizontal and the vertical component. And so the x component of a two-dimensional force is given by that force times the cosine of the angle it is and the y component is given by that force and the sine of that component. In this case this is going to be our force at angle. Now we want to find the net x force. Well we have this force here for the x. We also have some kind of some component of this f not force, this Fourier Newtons in the x direction. So what I gotta do is I gotta find a net x and the net x is gonna be given by negative ten is negative because it's still left Newtons plus well, this is positive because it's, it's to the right. 40 times the cosine of 30. And 40 times the cosine of 30. That's going to give you a value of, this value here is 34.64. Approximately. And let's find the F net in the Y. Well, I've got positive 20. Up is positive by convention. And then this is also up. And this is going to be 40 sine of 30. Well, the sine of 30 is one half, so 40 sine 30 is going to give you 20. So let's find these components very really quick. Well, negative 10 plus 34.64, that's going to give you 24.64. And see, 20 plus 20 is 40 newtons. Now the net F net force here. is the square root of fx squared plus fy squared. That gives you the square root of 24.64 squared plus 40 squared. That's equal to square root of 2,207.13 approximately, and that's approximately 46.98 newtons. So that's, that's the first half. That's our net force. Now we want to find the angle. Well, we're going to use the relationship that tan theta equals the y component over the x component. And we got to find theta. So take the inverse tangent on both sides. Theta equals the inverse tangent, arc tangent, of the y component, 40 
over 24.64 and the inverse tangent of that gives you approximately 58.37 degrees. Make that degree sign a little neater. Better. Okay. And that's our direction, our angle. And let's say that I wanted to find the acceleration of this object. Well, the acceleration is the net force divided by the mass. So F net equals MA by Newton's second law. And so F net over M equols A. And then ask us to find the acceleration, but we're finding it anyway, just for fun. That is 46.98 divided by 2 kilograms. And that is going to give you, let's see, 46.98 divided by 2. That's going to give you 23.49 meters per second squared. And that direction is going to be the same as the net force this angle 58.7 degrees. And that's how you find the net force and angle on direction.